Okay, so in the last video, we uh, we made the code to check for uh, making sure our uh, our password and our retype password match, and then we uh, made sure that the email is or is more likely to be valid, um, and then we connected to our database, and then we uh, made sure that the username that the user that whoever's registering wants, making sure it's not taken. And then we have encrypted our password using MD5, using the MD5 function, and we've started our query to insert into our database. Now, we've obviously connected to the database, so we don't need to connect again. So we're going to finish off this query, and then we're going to display a message saying that the user has been registered, and then we're going to test the whole process uh, over again. So. Uh, I'm actually going to go back to the register page, and I'm going to uh, type in something somewhat legit. Uh, I'm just going to say, username will be Nick, password is password, retype it, and email is basic.nick at gmail.com. Uh, and you guys can email me anytime. I'll probably respond within the hour or so. And I'm going to click register. So, uh, it also says not a valid email. Um, I think I know what I did wrong. Uh, we need to switch these. So, There we go. So if we refresh, resend, what is going on? Alright, I am going to pause this and figure out what's wrong. Okay, I've I found out what's wrong. Um, it's not the uh, substring method, it's str str. So if we do that, resend, not a valid email. And that might be because of this. Sorry about this, guys. Making some mistakes, and obviously I have to change both of these. There we go. So we have nothing uh, going out, which means. Uh, sorry. Which means that the uh, it's a valid email, and we have uh, everything working now. So uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to finish our actual register and inserting our values into our database, and then finish up the register tutorial. So uh, right here, hit your caps key and type in values, and Inside of these parentheses right here um, is going to be the info and the data that's going to go into these fields. So our first one is ID, and we have to leave this blank so it, it's auto-increment, auto-incremented. So we have two single quotes and then a comma, and then our second field is our username, and then our password, and then our email. So what we're going to do is we're going to simply insert these using our variables. And in here we put dollar sign username and then that and then the same thing for our password dollar sign password which right now is actually our MD5 encryption right there our MD5 encrypted password and then once more for our email. So if we save it, and right before we run this, I'm going to put in an echo statement. You have been registered. Alright, so we have our echo statement. We're inserting our values. So now we're going to go back. We're going to refresh. We're going to resend. You have been registered. 
Now, if we refresh here, and we should have another field, which I'm have to do that any second. There we go. We have another field with the username of Nick and the MD5 password of password. Now, uh, we want to go to our where is it? Our login uh, file, and we want to take our uh, our password right before we uh, 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 crap. Uh, totally blanked out right there. Right before we uh, make sure it's the same as the one in our database as we do in this query, we need to encrypt the password. So we're simply going to say dollar sign password equals md5 of our dollar sign password. So we save it. Now, uh, if we refresh this again, we'll actually have uh, an error saying the username is taken because the username is already taken so the user can't uh, keep refreshing and adding to your database which is also nice so we're not logged in but what you can do is you can take the login uh, that we have in our login right here you can just take this and you can copy it and paste it right into our register but we're not going to do this so we're going to log in with nick and password click login you have been logged in Go to the members page. Welcome, Nick. Log out. We've been logged out. We go to our members page. Members.php. We're not logged in. All right. So this is the end of the user registration tutorial. Uh, tutorials rather, uh, and the login tutorial. Uh, I might be adding more to this uh, later, but for now. Uh, we're good. So uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. If you have any uh, problems with this, uh, just uh, send me a message on YouTube, or you can email me anytime. Uh, I will respond within the day, likely within the hour or so. Um, uh, if you have any question related to PHP programming, or if you have a uh, video request on how to do something, uh, just let me know and I'll, I'll try to help you out and I might even make a video for it. Um, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.